Class F liquor licenses, I don't believe you do need a public hearing. Right, so where would the, we go off? So I think you, you know, really. Um, Number three, there's also some concerns about. Uh, I think you do need a class for the uh, number three, which I think is a B. Yeah, they're, yeah, a, class a, B. B. they're a class B, correct. Uh, right. And you are changing that license. I think you do need a public hearing on that. All right, so let me ask you let's, let's do this then. Let's uh, vote on, uh, if we don't need a public hearing for one and two, let's vote on uh, one and two licenses, and maybe we can table the third one and have a hearing at the, at the next meeting. That will here. probably be, that'll serve um, the applicant for number three, the B license, well, because that's not occurring until March 17. That's March 17. 17. Okay, so this will be in the air course. Why don't we do that? Then? So, all right, so the chair will entertain a motion. I guess we'll do one at a time. Just go. So the chair will entertain a motion for number one for the class applicant license for St. John and Paul Parish. I make a motion. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Uh, we have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Okay, number two, a class liquor license for St. Vincent of Paul. The chair will entertain a motion for that license. Motion. We have a motion and a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, uh, and usually, what is historically, we've made a motion to, uh, yes, uh, to uh, waive the uh, the fees associated oh, yeah. with that. Yeah, so we have to go, so we need to go back yeah, to this motion yeah, and do that. that. Let's do that again. Let's, let's uh, do that. We'll go back to uh, number one. And uh, I'll do it over again. I'll look for a motion to uh, approve a Class F liquor license and also uh, waive the fees for the chair's fund, basically. Do we have a motion? Because the motion is stated this way, do we have to... No, we can, do, we can waive the fee. We've got it. No, I, I know, but do we have to make an amendment to the motion to waive the fee? No, no we can just no, make a motion just to, waive the, to waive the fee okay. for... Uh, then that's fine. Or, and, I make a, the and I make a motion to approve the issuance of the Class F liquor license um, and waive the fee. Okay, we have a motion. We have a second. second. We have a second. We all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? I have it. Motion carried. Okay, number two. Let's try this again. A new Class F liquor license for St. Vincent de Paul. We'll make a motion to, we're looking for a motion for, uh, and also to waive the fee. I'll make that motion. I second the motion. Okay, we have a motion. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? I have a motion carries. I should have mentioned it before. I thought, we yeah, could I, wait. I thought we could make a motion to waive the fees after the fact. Okay, so now number three. Uh, I'm looking for a motion to copy the table this for the next uh, meeting. I'll make a motion to table this. Okay, we have a motion to table this. Uh, second. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? I have it. Okay. Item E, Madam Clerk, if you would be so kind. Introduction and first reading of amendment to Coventry Code chapters 153 and 122 allowing Class C liquor licenses to be issued by the Town Council and associated fees. Okay, uh, Mr. Manager, do you want to elaborate on this one? Definitely. Yeah. 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 What the uh, declaration says is that is, uh, we were specifically uh, under the under uh, Rhode Island general laws allowed to not issue, so we in turn have never had the Class C license on it. What the C is is uh, basically like a B without the ability to serve food. It takes the food away. It doesn't it doesn't mandate the food. In fact, says you can't sell food that was produced on the uh, on the premises. But it doesn't, it doesn't take food away. It does allow pre-prepared food. Correct, but it, but it takes away the, the mandate that they have to make food on the premises. The C's require that they, they have a kitchen, where the B requires that they don't have a kitchen. And food prepared... Wait a minute. If we could maintain some decorum, if we would just take, we'll speak one at a time, and okay. ask me so we can keep it please. Okay. The C license does... Re is specifically set up for not no kitchen in the on the premises and any food brought in would be brought in and, and you could heat it up in there but that's what it's about the b requires to have a kitchen and that they serve food okay. so this is a you have some so that's the reason for the for the c we have been approached by uh, uh at least one individual and possibly a second one that's interested in utilizing uh the class c license and Class C is typically used in uh, cigar bars. 
And that's what this is about. That's why we're looking at putting this back, or setting up so we can issue the Class C, as well as setting up the pricing structure on that license. So that's the only limitation then, is no prepared, no cooked food on the premises, prepared food to be avoided. The, the hours also end at midnight, which the ordinance, the, the, the law does allow to extend that on Friday, Saturday, and holiday uh, nights till one o'clock with a separate fee paid and a separate uh, license added on. But this is simply for the uh, to, to midnight. That, that extended hours is at the purview of the Liquor Control Commission, which would be the town council. Correct, to, to authorize that if they want to go further. I would certainly welcome to see that long town. That would be a nice addition. And I know you like it. I, uh, <laughs> I'm hoping to be first customer in the place if they don't think so. Are there any comments, any questions? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Is there a motion on the table? No, 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 no
house, tavern, bars, saloons, and other place of resort? Would it fall under that? Uh, the only reason I put 89.9 in is because I wanted to make sure the council, the issuing Class C licenses, makes it clear to applicants and to the public at large that it is reserving all the powers it has under 89.9, and those powers are quite significant to regulate each and every Class C license that it issues. Okay. All right. Do we need to spell out the um, the hours of operation, or is are we falling on the general law for that? Statute. I think it's under statute. statute. By statute, they're law. controlled. Okay. 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 So, okay. Yes, uh, go ahead. Uh, Mr. President, um, I don't smoke or drink, but I did do a thorough review. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I did read Chapter eighty nine nine, and it does de designate the town council as the local liquor licensing board and the power to enforce Title III of Rhode Island General Laws. Now, Rhode Island General Laws Class C license states the town councils, such as Coventry, are authorized to prohibit by ordinance the issuance of Class C. So our ordinance, Chapter 153, prohibited the issuance of Class C up until this time. So now we're asked to amend an ordinance that we really don't need based on the authority given us in Chapter 89.9. 899 says that we can issue licenses. So what we're doing is we're taking an ordinance that said we didn't, we, we don't want Class C in town, and now we're amending it to say it's allowed. So we don't have any other ordinance regarding other types of licenses. So I'm going to recommend that the motion to amend Chapter 153 and 122-1 be withdrawn, and that we do two things. We entertain a motion to rescind Chapter 153-1, Issuance of Class C Liquor Licenses Prohibited. That's the ordinance that prohibited us from having this. We don't need that ordinance. We don't have any other ordinance that speaks to any kind of liquor license. We don't need ordinances on our books that really are meaningless. And that we then entertain a motion to amend Chapter 122-1 licensing fee as a separate motion, and that sets the Class C license at $600. So I make, I'm suggesting that we rescind the motion that is in our agenda, and that we, number one, just eliminate, rescind, archive, whatever term is appropriate, this ordinance that says we do not allow Class C licenses. We clean up our books on ordinances we don't need, and then we have a motion to entertain for Chapter 122-1 that we amend it so that we can set a licensing fee for Class C. Okay, Mr. Solicitor, report taken. Uh, is that necessary? Is, is what necessary? <laughs> what I propose? <laughs> well, uh, no, what, what, uh, I, I gotta be careful. I mean, I wanna, I, I'm fine with the way we have the word. I understand yeah. I want to clean up the ordinances, but I, I don't want to postpone this. We can always... Well, you can amend it. Yeah. An, an amendment is uh, well within well, first of all, let's be clear. Tonight, this is the first reading. This is the first reading. Right. These are all great suggestions yeah. for the future, which we can we can entertain every one of them. Um, but it's the first Ms. Ms. Dixon may be right, and I um, I take no exclusive pride in authorship. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, she makes a very good point, and I brevity is the soul of wit. So she's making it much briefer. Um, and that that may be um, a way that we want to go with this. So but we have time to discuss it. So um, maybe you'd want to take her suggestions in, uh, in maybe the next meeting, not for a different meeting. I will so absolutely listen. I have no problem with that. Take her. See how we're just the first meeting and it doesn't have to have any action on it. So no, but the, well, the thing is, but does, but does uh, I mean, rescinding uh, uh, does a re an ordinance require the same thing as an amendment? In essence, it is. So it, it still would require the public hearing to rescind uh, and doing the same things, but just in a different manner. Yes. It just wipes off the uh, wipes it out of there instead of adding a, another half a page. I mean, I, I don't want to slow down any process, but I mean, I've been, you know, as a new person, I've been going through ordinances, policies, etc. And there's a, there's a lot we need to clean up. There's no need to have ordinances on the books that we do not need. Especially if we want to amend 
an ordinance that didn't allow us to do something. Now we're saying we can do something. And Chapter uh, 89 gives us all the power we need to issue licenses of any type. The, um, that, that's a, a good point. I always try to be very careful, especially with the liquor, which is, you know, it's... Um, oh, you do? It's, well, it's closely... <laughs> oh, that's so weird. That's so weird. Oh, that was good. <laughs> in, my, in my younger years, perhaps not. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah. All right, so with that, with that being said, I think maybe... Okay, you can have my friends. <laughs> All right, see how it's the first reading. If you want to uh, possibly... Uh, Reword it and bring it back to us again on the next meeting. Yes. And I have no problem with it. I mean, I do want to move forward with this, but it's not going to hold anything up. So, uh, like I said, it's a first yes. reading. So, okay, the next thing on the agenda is public comment. So, uh, we were going to keep public comments at three minutes. And I would, just, and, uh, I would just like to ask Ann one question prior to that. Of course. Is, is it proper to say, yes, we have no bananas? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, public comment is open at this time. Is there anybody from the public that would like to speak? See it? Okay, you do have one. Good evening. Good evening. Is it a song? All right. Yeah, it is now. Excellent. Uh, my name is Lucas Murray, 121 Hill Farm Camp Road. Uh, I just want to take a couple minutes because there was no opportunity to speak at the legislative session, uh, which I did attend. Um, I appreciated the, the leaders getting together. A few points though, I just wanted to hopefully have some constructive input to that process. Uh, the first thing was talked about, uh, Mr. Kevin McGee talked about uh, setting up a Chapter 90 type program for Massachusetts. And I understand the value of this program having been a project manager in Massachusetts for the City of Boston. But uh, we passed last year what wasn't discussed. The legislature, legislature already passed the Municipal Infrastructure Grant Program. It was passed last year. It was supported by Reba and also uh, the uh, Gross Mart Rhode Island. And if, if you haven't known, Reba's had the governor's ear on a lot of things as of late. Um, hence the reason there was another discussion about the planning timeframes, which were shortened due to the leader of the House having pushed through some uh, aggressive timelines on behalf of builders. But um, what I'd recommend is that you get back with the legislators because uh, they had recommended funding that at 15 million. It wasn't funded last year, it was just passed. Um, so that legislation is on the books and I encourage you to follow up on that with our legislative delegation and push for that because um, obviously the governor has other priorities this year. Um, also, there was no talk of the historic tax credit um, recapitalization or having a, a recapitalization of a smaller tax credit which would be streamlined, which I think is critical for us having an old village type district and I think a legislator should really be pushing for that recapitalization and simplification for smaller buildings. Take like the reed buildings which we, we've talked about, um, that could have been saved had there been a smaller streamlined process for small structures. Um, tax increment financing, there was also legislation passed last year for TIF uh, um, uh, tax increment financing. It's another tool in the basket. It gets a little complex but uh, Rhode Island League of Cities and Towns has partnered with Grow Smart to get out there and talk more about this. So I encourage you to get with Carolyn Wells and talk about that because that's another tool in the toolbox. Again, especially with the village districts, um, they've eliminated the need for redevelopment uh, corporations to designate districts. And it may fold a little bit into what's discussed tonight as far as historic preservation and those types of organizations uh, that, would, that would incentivize historic districts. So, there's two ways to go. You can go the heavy hand, which just says you have to do it because it's a historic district. Or the other way is to have these tools in the toolbox to incentivize development. I, I think that's the way we, the town would like to go. Um, there was some discussion about the uh, Title 42, about the maintenance on the sidewalks. And as you may know, I work for the city of Warwick, a bridge between planning and the mayor's office. This is something on our radar as well. So you're not alone. And, and I've talked to our legislative delegation about this. Um, uh, specifically Joe Shikarchi. Um, and we're, I'm also leading up an effort to buy out the street lights in, in our city. We have 9,000 street lights. Um, and we're also very invested to seeing how RIDA approaches um, the separation of powers, so to speak, on the roadways, whether they're going to take ownership of all lights and sidewalks and other responsibilities. So that's something that I know that Brian Daniels from Rhode Island, Rhode Island the cities and towns is also tracking on, um, which I know here we do it by fire district, 
on the lights, but I see the orange lights up and down 117, and I know that's something right now that we're paying for, whether, I don't think as a resident we care where the taxes come from. They come from somewhere, they come from us, and it doesn't matter if it goes to the fire district or the town, um, it all comes out of the same pocket. The uh, last thing I just wanted to talk about is education. Uh, as you may know, Rhode Island ranks 39th in the state, uh, uh, sorry, 39th in the nation for state support of education and we're the uh, 12th highest in local support, which means we, we give an awful lot at the local level and I applaud you tonight for passing the resolution. Um, fund, education funding is not a topic, it is the topic. And the reason is we're going into another budget season and we're gonna get hit hard and most of that's because of our schools again. Not, to be, not because we're all against schools, it's just because our state has decided to underfund schools. And so I think working with the school committee, um, moving forward, we really need to work as a team as opposed to kind of what happened last year, which sometimes becomes a, a tough environment. Um, of, you know, we're all taxpayers, we all want to see our kids succeed. We also want to live here and have a good quality of life. And uh, again, while the governor's budget values all admirable goals, pre-K and free tuition for college, um, I, I fear that's tapping our, uh, our resources for uh, K-12 education. So I hope that you'll work with the legislators to um, move that forward. Last thing, I promise, I know it's three minutes. But if you didn't notice in the reminder, there was this ad for Exeter West Greenwich Schools. And this goes right to the legislative uh, talk that we had about school choice. And James Aranikas, I'll give him, he went to Coventry. He's coached Coventry. I, I uh, went to high school with his brother, Mike. Um, he's smart, and he's trying to recruit, but it's going to kill us. Um, if you don't, re well, for those who I know you all remember, uh, Exeter West Greenwich, a lot of their kids used to go to Coventry um, before they had their own high school. And so now they're going to start drawing off of colleges, uh, Coventry resources. If James wants a school district, I guess we could re regionalize and push everything his way, but I, I'd rather not do that. Um, so again, pushing the state more and more that this is a real issue and it's going to tap our district. We did read that, so I thank you for your comments. So I think you have three minutes because there wasn't a little Yeah, thank you. Speech, yeah. So, uh, it was a little, a little latitude there. Anyway, are there any other people that want to speak? Seeing none, hearing none, I have a motion to adjourn. Motion, we have a motion.